Let's talk about revenge sex because that's something typical when the uh, hurt partner experiences the affair, they will say, you know what, I'm going to do it 10 times. They did this, I'm going to do it 10 times better. I'm going to really up my game sexually, right? But it's really revenge. Either it's revenge against the the husband or the wife, the spouse, or it's revenge against that affair partner. Like, you took this away from me, now I'm going to take it back. But talk a little bit about how revenge sex affects the unfaithful partner. You know, it shows up different ways. Some, so there's this term called hall pass, right? So if a person is frustrated with the fact that you cheated on me and you took my, you t- listen, how could you do this? I want my chance. I want to go out. I want to have fun. I want to go out and have sex so that you know how it feels. Because if I have sex with you and hurt you, it'll make me feel better. And oftentimes it doesn't. So in this back and forth exchange, oftentimes some unfaithful pass, uh, partners say, well, fine, I'll give you a hall pass, meaning I'll give you a freebie to go out there and have a sex with someone pass. to even up the score. Wow. That's Yep, that's what happens. Or a person is panicked and frustrated and would never allow their spouse to engage in sex with another person. So that's where the double standard comes in. So it was okay for you to do it, but for them to be tempted to do it, now it's a major problem. So there's nothing positive that comes out of that scenario at all. Yeah, I do recall scenarios where uh, the hurt partner wanted a chance to cheat. Like you sowed your royal oats and now I want my chance. I've wanted to do it too, but I was faithful. But since you did it, now it's giving me the keys, right? To be able to do the same thing. So that makes a lot of sense. So now the revenge is actually on the unfaithful partner because you did it to me yeah. and I'm going to do it to you. Or or if it's not revenge sex, like I'm going to do it once or twice or three times, you know what? I want an open marriage. That's what I want. You know what? Uh, this has been closed. You haven't honored it. I have. And now I want something different and you're going to have to deal with it. And mm-hmm. so we've kind of counseled couples through that struggle too because that has even had a tremendous effect on their relationship, their family, their future. Yeah. And people really struggle in major ways with that type of stuff. Let's talk about guilt and shame. You think about when there's an affair, 